An exciting find for wildlife biologists here in Utah and two hikers who caught these images of a wolverine. Yeah, what makes this so interesting and all the more unusual is the fact that this was seen on Antelope Island. New specialist Mike Anderson talked with a photographer who says this checks off a lifelong dream for him. Mike? Yeah, it's a check off the bucket list for James Shook. You know, he often takes a camera with him while he's hiking, hoping to catch some wildlife out there. Well, just yesterday, he got the find that he'd been looking for ever since childhood. Antelope Island is known for some of its wildlife, but not the kind that was seen here Tuesday. That's James Shook whispering his excitement as he snapped photos with his long lens. His friend had already started rolling on his cell phone. It saw us and started running back toward land. And, you know, it's got that loping gait that a wolverine has. It's pretty unique. I could just tell right off the bat that's what it was. He knew because Shook says he'd been hoping to catch a wolverine in the wild ever since he was six. There's no animal I wanted to see more than a wolverine. So it's pretty incredible for me to, to, to be able to have. Yeah, it's a it's, uh, bucket list item gone now. <laughs> a big deal that he had to share on social media. His posts have quickly blown up. I've been called a liar a lot in the last day, but... That's understandable. I mean, it's so extraordinary, you can't really uh, fault people for being skeptical. But when you see those pictures and that video, the experts say it's pretty clear what it is and where it is. Particularly rare on Antelope Island um, to see a wolverine because it's just not wolverine habitat. So typically they're found kind of up in the high Uintas, um, kind of rugged mountain areas. And that's partly why they're so hard to see. Faith Jolly, a spokeswoman for the Division of Wildlife Resources, say their biologists are excited about the sighting. They spent hours this morning in the area of Bridger Bay. They didn't find much, but are confident that these images are real. But to be so far from the mountains. Yeah, I definitely wonder what it was doing <laughs> down here. Yeah. Yeah, and wolverines are especially tough to study because they are so reclusive. Uh, the last time there was evidence of one in Utah was uh, when a crash turned up one in 2016. So that's why a biologist, uh, want, a DWR, want to hear from anyone who sees one in Utah. Back to you guys. Well, that's crazy luck then that he got to check his bucket list off an animal that doesn't even live on Antelope Island. Thanks, Mike.